Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSEs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have uh, classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, end all for it. Thank you. I think let me check this. Huh, now it's game. So it was a part of the default screen. So now you have to check that like that and do the changes in the right screen. Okay, so this is something which you have to do. So you wanted to add an issue type, then you wanted to add a new new pill. We did it. Now let's say someone someone say hey, uh, we don't want we want to change the uh, workflows. So if you look, look at this here workflows, view workflows, any tickets which you get assigned, first thing get in to do, then in progress, and then done. So someone is saying, hey, let's add on, on hold also as part of the workflow. So tickets should be on hold for some reason. So what to do? So here you can click on the edit workflow. Okay. Now I know that uh, for this practicing you require lots of time uh, and uh, patience. Okay, so this is a UI part. You can create a flow depends on drag and drop. So here what I'm doing after the to do I'm adding one more transition and that is called on hold. So add a transition where is add transition to do status and. Uh, here there are few transition uh, i don't have any so here i say on hold okay on hold it will create for you sorry my bad on hold and it will create a new one okay, and add it so now this here i added it now click on the update workflows and save and continue. Done. So now, uh, how do we go back to close this? Open up any tickets. Okay, and now look at this here workflows. And you see here, on hold, you have it. Close it. And here you can do on hold. Now ticket is on something. So guys, did you understand that all of you? Yeah. Yeah. So these are the customizations you may get it. By the way, uh, let me tell you there is a two role. One is your you can be a project manager, so you'll have access to the project setting, or you will be having one site administrator access to your entire website. So my site which I am working currently is Anshu123, one site dedicated. I might have created multiple sites actually. So this is one of the site actually. So here this is the one site 
one side means one installations of jira okay and inside that i have multiple projects i have created three projects and uh, each projects you can assign one project manager here and he will have access to all these options here so whatever you see that here access notifications setting issue type setting all these settings he will have access admin will have all this access at the site level okay so now let's say if you want to set up smtp servers and all so smtp server in the cloud i think is controlled by by atlas and maybe so you won't be able to set it up but if if it is on premises there will be one notification url or oh, is there already actually notification scheme let me see no this is not something that which i'm looking for oh, no this is the different notification setup so you'll have smtp server set up somewhere and you can do that now here you can install the multiple apps also let's say not every features has been given by by jira atlas so what they want they they want you to explore the apps most of the apps are paid one so here you see that so many application which you want to install it this functionality depends on your need you can install it also so some free one i am going to install it free for all hardly you have a few few free yet, by the way see that only 10 15 are there so one of the things is this free github for jira so that means using that probably you will integrate to github with jira so click on it and here you say get app and you install it okay so now it was added manage app and here you see installed one the one which you have already installed it here it is now if you want to use it again every plugins they have their different documentation so please read this and follow their process so you can uninstall it also and do it now let's say you want to add access uh, to the jira so how do i do that so here you have user management so you can add a user management if you're using on premises you can connect with the ldap but here odap and all i think supported so here you can invite the users and email address and all and they will get an invitation and after that you can add them into the group so you can create a group and assign the access accordingly you see that these are the groups uh, this is the group which for the default and i created this group and i added a few products inside the jira confluence and, and so on. and here you have site admins and all. so you can create a more group like this and create a group and add a members to it as of now i don't have anyone so add a members to it by typing a name and you can do that so this way also you can assign a privileges now this group you have to add in in here also for access project level so here you see that you want to add people here you can add a group or name group name also you can type it and directly add people also and role also you can assign whatever role you want to add it so this way you can do the managing the team or people and all and you can do that here dashboard uh, i think view dashboard you can customize the dashboard also so this is the default dashboard which you got it from the jira if you think no that is not working for you so you can create a new dashboard accessible to everyone okay which projects basically and editor who should be editor and all these things specify and create a dashboard add a widgets let's say many widgets you can add activity stream uh, here you can add assign to me here you can add 
uh, you know average pie chart all this thing you can do that and uh, so now this is your custom dashboard also. so it's up to you so guys this is the this is the overall functionality of jira so i would like to ask you a few questions uh, what you want to do in jira and accordingly i'll take it uh, and demo the further so tell me here you can manage the project here you can filter the issues here you can create a dashboard here you can work with a team and all and apps some of the admin options super admin options here you have it which you can customize it like user management and issue management and all project management and all. so anyone have any questions specific to any scenarios which you want to get it done oh rajesh in yeah. my current organization when there is a new qa tickets uh, we are getting emails in our like gmail mailbox so that something yes. related to smtp right yes as sm smtp uh, for the on premises uh, okay. see one thing uh, smtp is for sending an email where to send an email it's like user account whether user wants it an email or not he can set it up the notification settings so here you see that uh, this is the personal settings here click on it and somewhere uh just say somewhere profile see he is a part of this team and this team you can set up a notification setting who should receive an email who should not receive an email or something like that so you can you can set it up that way got it yeah yeah more questions any questions guys okay so now i'll teach you how do we work with scrum project i mean it's almost same but ui will be a little change actually so here if you know the scrum kanban agile and all it will be easy for you to understand this is your board okay so how do we fix that how do we work on it so that's something which i'm showing you now those who has those who's not having a idea on the scrum process or agile process i would uh, insist them to study a little bit of it uh, offline because every projects they are using agile or scrum nowadays so here what to do adding a backlog so sprint master will add a backlog and i am very lazy person so i'll not create a ticket from using this form backlog it can be added like this later on you can modify the ticket also so this is a task one okay one Two, three, four, five task, six task, seven task, eight task. So all these tasks I have added. Now these are the backlogs we call it in Scrum. Now, but you have to start a sprint, right? Any idea what is the duration of the sprint which you which you have it? So we start with the two weeks, right? Correct now. Correct now. Hello. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not in software development. Okay. So just uh, before uh, Jira, before Jira, just spend some time on Agile, you know. So it will help you to understand this. Uh, Agile is a, just a process, process for software development. Don't have too much of complexity. Just a process. Maybe shortcut uh, some short tutorials if you refer, it will be easy for you. Okay, so now typically it's a two weeks, but it can be one week or three weeks also. So right now these are the these are the number of backlogs. So I want to start. We want to start working again. So we have a dev team, we have a QA team. I am the Scrum master, Sprint master. Okay. So for two weeks I will plan for the activity. So I have so many tickets. I don't want to work on these two weeks. So I'll just drag it to the backlog here. This I will work probably next week after the second sprint. So these are the tickets which I decided I will work on this. I mean, when I say I mean our team will work on uh, this week, these two weeks. 
So start the sprint. And the duration you see, two weeks, three weeks, one week, four weeks, depends on. Two weeks is the normal. And start this. So right now we are in sprint one. You might be hearing this cute keyword, sprint one, two, three, four, something like that. So every day we'll have a meeting. So I'll, I'm because I'm a scrum master, I'm going to ask you, Dhanush, what is update on task number one? So you say, okay, it's in progress. Then I'll ask uh, Ritesh, hey Ritesh, what is the update on uh, this one? So you'll say you're on hold or it's in to do, I have not started it. I'll ask uh, uh, Sunil every day. Hey Sunil, what is a, a task, a straighter task on the this one, status four? So you say it's done. So end of this way, every ticket has to be done. But unfortunately, one ticket is not done in progress still. And we will complete the sprint after 10 days. Automatically, it will get over, by the way. I'm, I'm forcing. <laughs> complete this sprint. So you see the three issues got completed. One issue has got to go into the backlog and complete this and start this. The one issue is pending, starting the new new sprint after two weeks by the way. And here it is. Now I'm a scrum master, so I'll push for the next two weeks and like this and the start the sprint again. And this is sprint two after two weeks and I'll keep doing the things. So that way we have every day uh, dev team, QE team, ops team working together and work as a team to, you know, see the progress of the project. Are you understanding all of you? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a Scrum project. Yes, you will have to work on it and then get it into this. Any questions on the Scrum? Scrum? Any questions on it? No. Okay. So guys, this is the Jira. You need to practice it. Either you practice the cloud on premises. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, the installation instruction, the one which I did it, there was some problem in it. Uh, I was not expecting that error. So I'll just see offline and see how it can be fixed. Now, next sessions, uh, we are supposed to have one more tool, which is called Confluence. Okay, uh, Confluence is also a tool from Atlassian only and for, for the document management, you can say knowledge management. You have seen the wiki pages, right? So how to write a wiki for the internal project using Confluence? I wanted to teach you that. But uh, I'll not have this session today. Uh, I'll have it some other day. I'm not feeling a little well. So next week for one hour, you know, uh, along with other tools, I'll make this. Confluence topic. Will that be okay for everyone? Yeah. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.